Hello everybody, welcome to the first episode in my simple space shooter tutorial. In this first episode, I'm going to be covering basic movement and shooting. So the first thing you want to do is go into your options, and then click on main options. And then up here in frames per second, yours by default will probably be 30. If not, just leave it at 60. But if it's anything other than 60, just go ahead and change it to 60. Hit apply and OK. And then once you've done that, go to create a sprite. And then you could draw one using edit image, but I have um, sprites available for download in the Game Maker resource page. Uh, there will be a link in the description and you guys can use those. So I'm going to import from my base pack right here, my sprites, and I'm going to be using the sprite, the sixth ship, this one right here. And now I'm going to set the origin to the middle center. And I'm actually going to go into the image and I'm going to flip it anti-clockwise so it's facing up. And now I'm going to name this sprite. I'm going to name it SPR ship. Now that is all I need for this one. And I'm going to go ahead and create a sprite called SPR laser. And this will be the bullet that the ship shoots. And I'm going to take this little box here and then set the uh, width to 1 and the height to 8. Go ahead and set the, the uh, origin here to the bottom center. And then edit image. And I'm just going to fill it with red. So now we have both the sprites we need to start. So let's go to our objects and create object. And name it OBJ ship. ship. And then assign it the ship sprite. And now create another object, OBJ laser, and then assign it the laser sprite. Now these are this is all we need to start. So let's go ahead and get into the ship's events. So we're going to add event and create. So first thing I need to do is distinguish some variables when the game is first ran. So I'm going to go ahead and do speed as SPD, not S. PED because that's a game maker variable and I want to use my own. So SPD, and I'm going to set it equal to 4. And now at some point I'm going to be needing an alarm. So I'm going to set up an alarm, L A L R M, not alarm, because that's also a game maker variable. So just A L R M. I'm going to set that equal to the room speed. Now I'm also going to need a variable to check whether I whether I can shoot or not. So I'm going to set up a variable called can shoot, and I'm going to set it to true. So when the game is first started, I will be able to shoot. And that's it for the uh, first variables uh, when the game is first ran. Now I need to set up another event, a step event, and this will be the movement and where the shooting uh, code is put. So I'm going to do the movement first. I'm going to do left. So a variable called left and I'm going to set that equal to keyboard check key and I'm going to be using WASD or actually I guess just A and D to go left and right so I'm going to say ORD uh, A is for left and now I'm going to copy and paste this two more times one more for the right movement and then one more for the shooting. And all I have to do now is go in and change the variable to right, and then the key to D, which is right for WASD. And then I'm going to be using VK space for shoot. So when you're, you're pressing space, it'll be shooting, and I'm gonna change the variable name to shoot. So now we have those variables set up, but we also need one more variable called move. And it's going to start off at zero. So every time, um, every frame, this step code runs. So move will be set back to zero. And we're going to use this to stop movement if we're not pressing left or right. And you'll see that right here when I say uh, we're going to do if left. So if we're pressing the left key, then this move up here is going to be set to negative 1. And now I'm going to do it again, but if right, then that move is going to be set to positive 1. 
And then I'm going to use this move variable. I'm going to multiply my speed that I set up in the create event into it. So our X coordinate is going to equal itself plus move times the speed. So if we're, if we're pressing the left key, move is going to be negative one. So we're going to be going to the left, negative is to the left on the X axis and then times the speed which is four. So we're gonna be moving four pixels to the left every frame. And now that's it for the left and right movement, but we also want our ship to be able to warp screen. So I'm going to go into add event and go to other, and then views, intersect view zero boundary. And then I'm going to use a game maker function, move wrap. And then for horizontal, I'm going to set it to true and then for vertical, I'm going to set it to false. It really doesn't matter because we're not going to be moving up and down anyways. And the margin is going to be a fourth of this number right here. So 3.5, uh, 3.5. And that is it for the movement. So if we go into our, our room here, first thing I want to do, is shrink the room because this is pretty large for this little ship guy. So I'm going to shrink it to 384 by 384. And I also need to set up the viewport that um, we're checking to see if it intersects. So let's go to viewports and cameras, enable them, go to viewport zero because that's the one we we're checking for, make it visible, and then we all, we want it to be the the uh, size of our room so let's change it to the same size so 384 by 384 that's 64 384 and then scroll down and then when it's actually displayed on the screen um, i want it bigger than that so i'm going to say 768 by 768 so just leave it like that and now we can drag our ship into the center and run it and you'll see that he moves left and right using the a and d keys and he does, and he goes off and on screen, or he warps off and on, or he warps sides, I should say. Now let's go ahead and start on our shooting. So I'm going to go into my laser, and I'm going to add an event. I'm going to do, I'm going to do two events actually: a step event, and then other outside room. So let's start in this outside room event. So if this bullet were to be shot and it goes outside of the room, it would just keep going on pretty much forever. So we want it to be deleted once it goes outside of the room. So I'm just gonna say instance destroy. And that'll make it to where when this is outside of the room, this bullet here, it is destroyed. Now in the step, I want to set I want to make it go up when it shoots. So I'm going to say that it's Y equals itself. So Y equals Y and then minus eight is the speed I'll do. And the reason it's minus is because in game maker, if you want to go up on the Y uh, coordinate or the Y axis, you use negative values. And if you want to go down, you use positive values. So I'll be using negative eight. You can make it slower or faster, but I find that negative eight works pretty good. Um, and now that's it for the bullet. So I'm going to close them. I'm going to go back to my ship and then back in the step event, we need to check and see if we're, we are shooting. So if shoot, so if we're pressing space and can shoot that variable we set up before can shoot and we're going to check if it's true, double equals means we're checking single equals means we're assigning. So we're checking if it's true and it is because we set it up to be true. Um, and the create event. So if both these return true, we're going to say instance create depth. And this is another game maker function. And I'm just going to set this to X and then Y minus 16. And this will create the bullet at the top of the ship and perfectly centered. And then the depth, I want it to be in front of the ship, so negative one. And the object we're creating is the laser, so OBJ laser. So that's all we need to do to make them shoot, but this will shoot a continuous stream of lasers. I'll, sh I'll show you what it looks like 
Uh, so next we're going to be using the alarm. And there's the continuous stream of lasers. So now I'm going to use the alarm I set up. So every frame, I want the alarm to go down. So the alarm equals itself, minus one. And then if the alarm check, so double equals, so if it equals zero, then the alarm does equal zero. So alarm equals zero and can shoot equals true. And the reason can shoot equals true is because down here we're gonna once we do shoot we're gonna set can shoot equal to false and then we're going to reset the alarm equals room speed and now if we run this the alarm will function correctly and we can hold down our space button and we don't get a continuous stream of lasers uh, the alarm is working and it's shooting one bullet, uh, but it's going kind of slow. So let me go ahead and make this subtract by two and run that. And that'll speed it up. There we go. And there it is. That's it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful. And uh, the next tutorial, I'll probably be doing asteroids and uh, making them spawn in and move down. But that's it for now, and thanks for watching.